When I was a kid, I got this great present that was this little microscope, and I absolutely loved it. So I knew, you know, right then that I wanted to work in a laboratory because it really lets you see a hidden world that you can't just see with your eye. And then when I was a teenager, actually my grandmother got cancer. And that's when I realized that, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to help people at my grandmother. If a patient has a, a cancer in, in their breast, they treat the cancer, it's gone. They've either removed it surgically, they've treated it with drugs or radiation, the cancer's gone. But the problem is that the cancer is really not gone. It's a few cancer cells remain behind somewhere. Later, those cancer cells come back and now begin to move. Cancers become deadly when cells leave one location like the breast and move to another tissue like the bone or the lungs where they cause damage and eventually death. So the mission of the Cure Bowl is to raise money for cancer research. And we're gonna do that through the proceeds from the game. And we just couldn't be more excited about Dr. Khalid and what she's doing. We're able to put a local face to that and uh, give everybody here in Central Florida something that you can point to and say, this is where our research dollars are going to. What we found is a therapy that allows us to actually prevent cells from moving from one point to the other. So if we can get rid of those cells, those migratory cells in the beginning, that woman may never have the, you know, the development of cancer later in life. This has to be one of the most exciting things that's happening. We have a Cure Bowl right here in Orlando. We have a football team that is just surprising everyone. And the combination of those two things benefits research in the College of Medicine. Could it be any better than this?